Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We are here in Firelink Shrine. Welcome We're going to be leveling up. Last time we killed Yorm the Giant, our second Lord of Cinder. Because I'm doing things a little bit out of order. Um, yeah, we do have a level up. I would like to get close to 40 dexterity, so I'm going to keep doing that. That is going to still be really good for my weapon, actually. We're still going to get quite a bit of attack power out of this. Um, I don't think we get another attunement slot until forever. Um, our FP is going up, or our, sorry, our HP would go up with the Vigor, but not as much as it normally would because I have the FP ring equipped, the Dusk ring. Endurance would also be very, very nice. But no, I think we're going to go Dexterity for now, and then maybe more Faith for the next couple of levels. Farewell, I should want me. I would love to get to like 50 or 60 or 100 faith, 3,000 faith, just a billion faith, all the faith ever. Um, we will be coming back here actually in just a few minutes. We need to return to Irithil Dungeon. I think this way is fine. We got the Jailer's Ring of Keys, and we never actually did anything with those. And I need to do that. And we have a goal. We have a thing that needs to be done with the Ring of Keys. Where's my ladder at? There it is. We've been talking about it a lot. We need to go rescue Carla, the witch. I also would like to not have to fight a gargoyle along this bridge area, so if I can get... Yep, okay, good. Just gonna ignore him. He's not that big of a threat. I was also thinking I could go get the Ring of Favor and Protection, because I don't have that yet, and that would maybe be a good... A good tool to mitigate some of my uh, HP and stamina issues. Not issues, concerns. It's not really... I mean, the lack of HP isn't really an issue yet. Maybe at all. It is a bit of a concern. Stamina, we've been making do, but having more stamina would be very, very nice, you know? I think, I think, I think, I think if we lure that enemy out, we can maybe trick him into fighting these enemies here. Like that. I gotta be super careful because if they hit me with their firebrands, we're dead. Yeah, not so fearsome when your uh, imprisoned creatures make their way out of here. Oh, and there's the giant rats too. Um. Okay, I can't actually deal with you real quick. You have no health! What happened to all your HP? Oh, that's right. All your max HP got taken away from you, you jerk. Can we jump up there? I really want to just jump up there. Okay, there is one more in here that we're gonna have to deal with, but you should be easy. Huh, I didn't actually know if that was gonna work or not. But I'm glad it did. Hello, imprisoned darkness witch lady. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd all but forgotten me. How sweet. 
Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. Hmm? Oh, you're not one of them, are you? Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. And I am no exception. Kite explains the situation. You're here to save me. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Is that something you can forgive? Yeah, sure. Child of the abyss. Somebody who can teach me dark spells. Yes, please. Oh, really? You are no ordinary woman. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. Yay! Yay! Um, it also occurs to me, I don't think we ever actually finished dealing with Yuria of Londor. I don't even know if she's still here after we messed up her plans like a billion years ago. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I have in my inventory that we could give her? Um, I think she'll take... Oh, we also have the profane coal. Remnants of the fire that burned down the profane capital all preserved in an icy skull. Dark blood and hollow infusions. Um, the scrolls we can give to Sorcerer Man. Let's just go through a bunch of these things. Logan's Skull, we just got this in the last video. Secret Scroll of the Profaned Capital Court Sorcerers, containing the sorceries of Logan. The Court Sorcerers used this scroll to claim airship to Logan's legacy. Though how that claim stands up to cl closer scrutiny is another story. Um, the Ulysseal Spells, the Isolith Pyromancy Tome, the Quelana Pyromancy Tome. These pyromancies can only be taught by a female master. We have the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. Um, High Lord Volnir of Karthus succumbed to the Abyss, but the Pyromancer later became a Grave Warden and discovered the Black Flame. And then we have the Londor Braille Divine Tome and the Deep Braille Divine Tome. Um, we're just going to turn in a whole bunch of these things. Ah, uh, the I am. <laughs> Hello. Um, I have a tome for you. you can give him the Isolith tome. Ah, what have we here? A pyromancy tome from Isolith. Then you found the home of pyromancy. Brilliant. I will never curse being old and undead again. Now, now, show it here, quickly. Let us channel them together. The primal pyromancy is known only to old Master Salaman. I don't think he'll actually take these other two, but we can try. Ah, what have we here? By the gods, this inscription reads, Quelana, the ancient deity, one of the witches of Isolith. The last of them who wandered the lands. Then she must have returned to Isolith after all. But I regret to say, I cannot accept this. Quelana's pyromancies are for witches and must be learned from a mistress. But thank you for allowing me to peer upon such a thing. If only I were a woman. Huh. I don't remember whether or not I tried to give that to him. Same with the Grave Warden one. He won't accept this, I believe, but he'll comment on it. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Do not be gone for long. What? Uh, da, 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 da. Do you want some scrolls? Back again, I, I suppose that... Oh my. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. 
a masterful sorcerer, long missed in Minheim. And now we have his scroll, right here in my very hands. I have one more for you. Oh my. Well, this is very unusual. It's from Ulysseel, an ancient land of golden sorceries. Not even the Dragon School possesses such a long lost scroll. What would the Xanthus scholars say with their ridiculous headwear? <laughs> they would simply slaver over this find. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We won't be able to use any of these because, you know, intelligence, sorceries, all that stuff, but I think if we buy them all, he'll wander off. Uh, kind of similar to what Big Hat Logan does in the first Dark Souls game. Come again. So, I don't know, I may do that. I don't know if Swamp Man there does anything. I honestly don't remember. Um, Grey Rat wants to go out again. He wants to go to Lothric Castle. I'm not going to send him there because that is a bad idea. Um, we could. I may before the game is over, but eh, not going to do it right now. And then here's the witch lady that we just rescued. Hello, Carla. How are you doing? Ah, oh, there you are. As I said, I am Carla. And I'm grateful to you. Now, what shall we do? The only thing that might interest you is my sorcery. Although my dark arts are a detestable sort. That wouldn't interest you, would it? Oh, I want to learn so many dark sorceries, except not sorceries, but like maybe miracles, like dark miracles and maybe some dark pyromancies. Can you teach me about the flame, the dark flame of the human soul? Can you just, yeah, yep. Hmm. You're a wicked one. Absolutely. You? Very well. Humans are of the dark and you are no different. Some may avert their eyes, but the truth remains the truth. Be careful, though. Few humans are privy to this knowledge. Let it be a secret, kept between you and I. Hooray! Okay, so we can learn some dark spells. She has two. Affinity, cast Dark Manifestation of Humanity. It appears to be an expression of envy, or perhaps love towards another, that will tenaciously pursue its target, even if, like so many human desires, it amounts to nothing but misfortune. Mm. And then there's Dark Edge, a forbidden dark sorcery strike with a blade formed of humanity's darkness. Passed from mother to daughter, this blade was intended for both protection and as a means of taking one's own life. The young girl never swung it more, more than once. Huh. Um, do you understand pyromancies? Oh, a pyromancy tone, have we? Quilana, witch of Isolin. Well, this is a fascinating pyromancy. Very well. If this is your wish, I will unravel the thing the best I can. Besides, it will be nice to play master for once. Aw, she's happy. Oh, another pyromancy tone, have we? And one that resonates with the dark. Yes, well suited to me. <laughs> I may be a heretical sorcerer, but you bring me nothing but pyromancies. Fiendish little lass, you. I mean, we can change that. I can stop giving you, you know, pyromancies. We can give you other things instead. Oh, is this a divine tone? What on earth are you thinking? I wouldn't go near a divine tone or any so-called miracle. And casters of miracles are sure to steer clear of That's me. not entirely true. So please, don't torture me so. Ah, oh, you. How could you? 
Oh. I know. I know. I owe my life to you. Fine, then. But just this once, I will tell you this tale. But do understand, it will be my first time. I'll have no sniggering, should I err. Oh, oh, I know. Yay! Okay. All right, now things are interesting. So, Fire Whip and Fire Storm and Report, these are the Isolith, uh, or these are Quailana's spells, sorry. Primal Pyromancy taught by Quailana, daughter of the Witch of Isolith, sweet foes with a fiery whip. The caster manipulates the flames at will, making this an extremely difficult spell to use. Pyromancy is at once the knowledge of controlling flame and the knowledge that control is impossible. And we also have surround the caster with multiple pillars of flame. The raging storm is indiscriminate, such as the intrinsic horror of the flame. We have report, charms an enemy, making them a temporary ally. I've always been curious about this. Like, I kind of um, don't know how I feel about it. I don't have the intelligence to learn any of these, you know. Um, the living are lured by flame, and this tendency is elemental to the art of pyromancy. We can also learn about the black flame. Can I... What can I... Do so from Dark Blade on? No, not dead again. Many of these we can learn towards the end here. Um, Black Flame. So Grave Wardens. It was discovered by the Grave Wardens after High Lord Volnir fell to the abyss. Create a giant Black Flame in hand. Black Flames born from the abyss bear no shadow. They're said to be the impenetrable fires of humanity. That'd be kind of a fun one to play with. Um, same with the Blackfire Orb, actually. That would be really fun to have, but I don't have the intelligence for it. Pyromancy discovered by the Grave Warden. Same thing. Hero Black Fireball. The Black Flame inflicts dark damage, striking targets with a weighty force. We have Dark Blade. Miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Reinforce your right-hand weapon with dark. The third daughter, Lilianne, one of the founders of the Sable Church, is said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of Hollows. Interesting, because I think we know a bit about one or two of the other founders of the Sable Church. Hmm, we'll come back to that. Remember that. And also, remind me of it, please. <laughs> um, so, Vow of Silence. This is really cool. It prevents spells in the vicinity, including one's own. This is um, the NPC, not Invader, but the NPC in the library back in the painted world of Ariandel the DLC, he was casting this, and it just blocks spells. It was really cool. Members of the Sable Church are all trained swordsmen, each sworn only to their weapons as they bear the leaden silence of Londor. Dead again? A miracle that requires a bunch of intelligence, which really sucks, because I really wanted to use this one. Sacrilegious miracle of the Sable Church of Londor and blessed corpses transforming them into traps. Like, bombs is more accurate. Uh, Londor, the Hollow Realm, is a society of undead, comprised of the corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is such blessing really something one must ponder? Now, it only requires 15 intelligence. There is a ring in the game that I think gives you... I think there's, there's like, four rings. Um, plus five intelligence, a ring for plus five faith, a ring for plus five dexterity, and plus five strength. I believe that's the correct breakdown. So if we got the intelligence ring, then I could play with this one. We could check it out. And I really want to do that. Um, deep protection. Miracle taught to the inaugurated deacons of the Cathedral of the Deep. Slightly boosts attack, damage absorption, resistance, and also increasing stamina recovery speed. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. This sounds amazing. The Deep was originally a peaceful and sacred place, but became the final rest for many abhorrent things. This tale of the Deep offers protection for those who worship amidst those horrors. And then the last one, Gnaw, which is like the least impressive one here because I have a better version of it. Um, dark miracle taught by the Cathedral of the Deep. Summon an insect swarm to feast on foes. These insects which lurk in the deep have tiny jaws lined with fangs to tear open the skin and burrow into the flesh in the blink of an eye, causing intense bleeding. But Doris's gnawing is 
infinitely better than this. Um, Dark Blade, I don't think, does anything for me because I already have an infused weapon. And having a lightning weapon that also does dark damage doesn't really work. Um, Deep Protection, though. I definitely want that. And I'll take dead again anyway. I don't know. We could maybe make use of Vow of Silence. And I'm going to buy Report because same thing. Only 15 Intelligence. I could mess around with that a little bit. And see... It if there's any fun stuff with it. Don't stir up your my apprentice. Don't stir up any trouble, your my apprentice. Don't forget, I shall remember that. Don't worry. Okay, Yuria, you're actually still here. I was not expecting you to still be here. What's your deal? Thus forsworn the Lord's mark. There is not more to say. Farewell, our fleeting Lord. Okay, that's it. Okay, well, she didn't attack or anything. I didn't know if she was going to. And she's actually still here. I thought she would have been gone by now. Oh, well. That's all fine and good. Um. Yeah, I mean, that <laughs> we're... That's like the whole video. We haven't done anything yet. What else do I want to do well sweet yeah we have a little bit of time you know what we can do um we can go to an orlando we'll at least open up the giant double doors at the top here that lead into the main building itself i think we can do that much i think that's not an issue um bah, 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 before we do that Oh, we have projected heal. We never actually looked at this. Miracle discovered in the, lost, the last days of Lothric. Toss a light that heals those near the point of impact. Even those who had forgotten the caress and bounty of the Princess of Sunlight did their best to recall her image. The stories spun about her were most certainly childish and yet gravely sincere. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Do I want to use, like, deep protection or something? Maybe? How many? It only uses up one slot. It seems like a slightly different version of Sacred Oath. Sacred Oath is AoE attack and defense for everyone. Um, this one is just for one person, and it seems like just a little bit of attack defense and resistance, but also stamina recovery. And that could be a really interesting addition to our arsenal. I don't know what I'd want to give up for it, though. Um, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Okay, now fighting the Silver Knights. These guys have a tiny, 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 tiny chance of dropping the uh, proof of the Concord kept for the uh, Darkmoon Blades Covenant. So I have fought a few of these off camera trying to hopefully get some of those. I think I got, like, one. But I am intimately familiar with these two knights. They're on the stairs here. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get anything from them. And I was not disappointed. Because we got nothing from them. What is this? Henry of Astora's call for cooperation. I forgot about that. Yeah, you know, yeah. We'll give this a shot. We'll check it out. We'll see what Henri wants from us. I completely forgot about this. Hmm. I thought it might be. Oh, wow. Then I'm afraid Horace. No. Oh, he still doesn't know that Horace turned bad. Okay, we're just fighting Aldrich with Henri. <laughs> okay.
Okay, well, I was not expecting this. I had no idea. Okay, he's in the second phase. Oh, this attack is the worst. This attack is death. Oh my gosh, I hate that attack. <laughs> okay. Lightning does a huge amount of damage, though. I'm a huge fan of this. No more. Please don't do this again. I hate this attack. I hate that attack. I hate that attack. I hate that attack so much. I hate that attack. That is the only thing about Aldrich that I hate. That's the only thing that I can't deal with. I hate that attack. I hate it. I hate it so much. It lasts for so long. It tracks you. It never stops. It does so much damage. You can't block it. Ah, I hate that attack. It's the worst attack ever. I hate it so freaking much. Ah! Whew, okay. Got it out of my system. Let's do this again. Let's actually win this time, though. Hmm. I thought it might be me. Link? Then I'm afraid Horace. No. I wonder if we can only do this because we never told him about Horus. Oh my gosh, I hate that attack. gone again. Come back, Aldrich, devourer of gods. Stamina situation is not great. So my Esther situation, not great. Yay, we did it. I helped you, Henri. For an ember. I owe this to you. Thank you. True. Ember. Horace. We've done it. Oh, Horace yeah. isn't here. That horrible monster. Okay, well, Aldrich was kind of a joke. <laughs> Uh, I kind of just want to go fight Aldrich now. Yeah, I'm embered. I mean, I already was, so, yeah. Okay, I ran in here. Um, this was just a quick thing that I did. Back when we were doing the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. So, I've been in here before, I've seen all this stuff. It's not terribly new. I think we want to go maybe with the fire rape here. Oh, these guys are jerks. These guys are horrible, horrible jerk faces. I hate them. Oh gosh, I'm super overburdened because of the fire rape here. Forgot about that. Gotta deal with my weight. Um, oh, and I don't have a... Huh, I don't have a, uh, a flame glove with me. I must have put it in storage on accident. Well, I was hoping I could backstab you. That would have been nice. There we go. I got one of them. I feel vindicated. Oh, 
Okay, the slimes are gonna be a bit of a problem. That's why I wanted the fire. Because, oh my gosh. The slimes are so difficult to kill without fire. Just so hard to kill without fire. What if we go with like a torch? And I know, you know, I'm, oh, ah, ah, ah. 6.7, we'll remove the pants for now. Just like in real life. Torch is insufficient. Still not quite one-shotting it, but we're doing so much more damage with this thing. And have a regular roll. Now there's tons of slimes up on the ceiling that are going to drop down. There's also that at the end. Oh, we have fought that before. But we're going to have to fight another one. Moonlight arrow. Man, I remember first coming in here, this place just blew my mind. The fact that Aldrich the Devourer, the reason he's called the Devourer of Gods is because he ate Gwendolyn. He ate Gwendolyn. Why would you eat Gwendolyn? I like Gwendolyn, he's nice. Well, kind of. Until you try to see his face and then he tries to murder you, but up till then, I like Gwendolyn. Um, I don't, we don't need to kill all of the slimes, but I need to kill a bunch of them so that they don't cause problems when I fight the weird, uh, Pontiff Sullivan monster. I call it the Pontiff Sullivan monster because it drops, uh... Is it Sullivan's? I think it's Sullivan's. It drops a, it drops a thing. Maybe Aldrich? Maybe it's an Aldrich monster? Maybe it drops an Aldrich thing? I forget. We'll find out. There's two eyes. One from the uh, the creature we fight back in the cathedral. Oh, hey, you're down. One from the cathedral of the deep, and then you. slimes you guys came down you want to come join the party I'm trying to get the distance right on those guys it's a huge pain All right, there's at least one more maybe only exactly one more at least up on the ceiling There you are. Come on. Oh, come on. Why are you so hard to hit? There we go. Um, I feel satisfied, so we're gonna take that off and I'm gonna put my pants back on. Boy, that's a sentence for you. <laughs> oh gosh, you inflict curse, I forgot about that. Aldrich. Okay, so it's Aldrich's ruby and sapphire. I'm mixing up Pontiff's left and right eyes with something else. Do you...? No, you don't take damage from that. How about lightning? This is when I kind of wish I had lightning steak. Because that would do like a bazillion damage to that thing. 
Oh, I should have also tried Doris's gnawing. Oh well. We heard that my go-to spell was not the first one that I used. Okay, the door's open. So now we can just run right up the stairs. The uh, sp spidery monster on the ceiling will not respawn. So we can just run through here, dodge all the slimes. They're all going to be up on the ceiling anyway, not going to be a threat. So there's going to be the three pyromancers at the end there on the stairs. The three up here on the... or the two up here on the left. And then three up there in the back corner. So they're going to be taking pot shots at me, but... It's easy enough to get through there and get to the boss without actually having to do any fighting. And that is what we're going to do when I want to take on Aldrich. I don't really know if I'm ready to do that just yet. Uh, you got a mimic, mimic head. Look at you. Um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that just yet in the next video. I actually have plans for something else I wanted to do that we didn't really have time to get to today because we spent the whole day reading and handing in books and scrolls and tomes and all sorts of fun stuff. But anyway, um, yeah. Don't know if it was a particularly eventful episode, but we're done with it now. So thank you all for joining me, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.